All right, what up, Charm City One Eight Seven? Uh, this is my Mass Effect Three review. Um, I had a whole bunch of clips and stuff saved up from the campaign. Uh, it took me like five or six days to put them all together and edit them and shit like that. And yesterday I rendered it and the file was corrupted, so I'm not doing all that shit over again. So I'm just gonna play the multiplayer. Got a uh, good game here. We made it all the way to the end. And uh, I'm just going to do the review over this so I don't got to spend four or five more days putting all that other shit back together. So, um, I like waiting to do my review until after I play the game. Like the whole thing. I hate it when IGN or somebody send somebody out and play the game for two or three hours and do a review on it and give it a 10 or a 7 when they haven't even really played the game. I hate that shit, so... Um, I'm gonna start off first with the Day 1 DLC. Everybody's already bitching about this and stuff, so I'm just gonna hit this real quick and then move on. Um, the day the game came out, the Prothean DLC came out you're supposed to get it for free when you pre-order the game i pre-ordered the game but i didn't go to the midnight release and they gave away the code so i didn't get a code so i had to pay ten dollars for the uh for the dlc which was bullshit so they probably had like four or five people that came up there that night and get bought the game and they just gave them my code instead of holding the shit for me which really pissed me off but Uh, Bioware is saying that the DLC wasn't in the game, because that's what a lot of people think, it was already in the game, they just took it out to make people pay for it, which I think actually is probably true, but they're saying it's not, because, I think it's true, because the one mission where you get the Protheum VI is basically what the whole game is about, and you and Javik, the downloadable character... When I did the Protheum VI mission, I had to take Javik with me, so that right there means he was already in the game, you know? But, um, anyways, alright, getting away from that, everybody's already been talking about that for the last week. Uh, importing your Mass Effect 2 character was absolutely fucking retarded. I imported my guy, I had like 400,000 credits with him. Um, I had like 500, 600,000 platinum, iridium, element, no, I didn't, I didn't have that much element zero, but I had over 150,000 of it, and, uh, palladium, I had all that shit, and it's not even, I didn't get to keep none of it, none of the credits, nothing, and they said, I don't know if it was EA or Bioware said, when you import your Mass Effect 2 character, you'll get to keep all that shit, and... None of it's even in the game. So, th I think that right there is pretty fucking stupid. Um, I do like how they changed leveling up the characters. Like, now you can choose if you want more damage for your kill, for your skill. Like, Carnage or Incinerate or Warp or Overload. You can choose, like, if you want it to have more damage or a long, higher blast radius. And I think instead of having... I think uh, Mass Effect 2 only had uh, four levels for each... Uh, for each... Skill. Now you have six. And, uh... Like, the first point costs one point, And then it costs two points, all the way up to six points, so... I do like how they did that. Um, the cutscenes. Some of the cutscenes are... Absolutely retarded. Like, you don't get any interaction. Like in Mass Effect 2. If you spoke, you chose what you were going to say. In this, you don't get to choose anything. I've had whole entire conversations where I don't even... Say a damn thing. It's Everything's already said for you, you know? Um, I miss all kinds of, uh, positive and negative Paragon actions because I got so used to not having to pick anything to say 
when a cutscene would come on, I'd sit my controller down and light a cigarette or go grab a uh, grab a drink real quick, and I'd end up missing the uh, missing the Paragon action. But yeah, I think they should have uh, kept it where you where you picked what you said say instead of uh, instead of um, them picking it. And another thing I didn't like was if, like, the positive and negative, uh, like, you know, how if you pick the top right thing when you do get to pick what you say, it's positive, and the bottom right thing is negative. But either, if you pick either one, you say the same thing for both of them. That's just stupid. That's why I like Mass Effect 2 when I played through my good playthrough, and then played through your bad play, your, uh, Renegade playthrough it was like playing a different game because you said different shit, but this one you think you say the same shit no matter which one you pick um, The graphics are I, I like the graphics are great especially uh, It was like in the beginning I don't know if they blew something up and it was raining down on earth, but it just looked it looked great um, and at the end when you have your whole fleet above earth and yeah I liked how that looked the audio is better than Mass Effect 2 but like the thing I didn't like about Mass Effect 2's audio was you'd hear your character saying it but his lips wouldn't be moving and this they have the audio a little bit better in sync but it's still a little bit out of whack but it's not as notice noticeable as uh, Mass Effect 2, so, um, the movements are great, except for sometimes you roll in the, like, I had that problem a lot, I'd roll in the cover, my guy would get in cover, and then just stand up on his own without even me pressing any buttons, like, I'd be trying to, uh, regain my shield, and my guy would just stand up, and I'd get killed, um, they added a lot more guns, you have a lot uh, larger selection to pick through. I think there's like seven shotguns, like five or six sniper rifles. And one thing I didn't like though that really pissed me off was when I got to the uh, Spectre requisitions. I saw I could buy like the best guns in the game for 250,000 credits. And that's right when I first noticed that none of my credits from Mass Effect 2 carried over. So I was like, hell yeah, I can buy all these fucking guns. Nope. No credit. I think I had like 5,000 credits. I was like, are you fucking serious? I just got like 400,000 credits. The load times are absolutely ridiculous. Like some of them would take like three or four minutes and that's if you're lucky. You're lucky if it doesn't freeze. I've had, I had a lot of uh, freezing and... Like, when, when the Citadel, I'd take the elevator, the screen would turn black, and that would be it. Like, the screen would just turn solid black and freeze. I'd have to turn it off and redo everything I had done on the Citadel, and then it would freeze again. I'd have to do it like three or four times before it would actually not freeze. But, um, overall, it's a great game. There, there's there's a few problems with it, but I think it's I think it's good enough to go purchase. Like all every game's gonna have some problems, you know. But the good outweighs the bad in this one. But yeah, we just finished that a hundred and thirty some thousand XP. And I do like how they incorporated the multiplayer into it. They didn't ruin the campaign like a lot of uh, campaign games do that try to add multiplayer into it. They ruin it, but I think they actually did pretty good with this one. So, yep. Alright, that's my review. Hope you all liked it. Let me know in the comments what you all think about the game, and I'm out.